one. It's Halloween, but with coronavirus cases on the rise around Southern Colorado, some neighborhoods that are known for extravagant displays were forced to pivot to a safer alternative. News 5's Mayo Davison begins our coverage today and shows us the creative message that they have for the community and how they're ensuring that trick or treaters stay safe this Halloween. Mayo. For those who live along Tejon Street, Halloween isn't just a holiday. It's a time for the community to get together and share laughs, smiles and memories. But with the pandemic, they've had to come up with creative alternatives. We got the devil. They were like, wow, and I like the horns. <laughs> It's a home that is known for its decorative pumpkins, elaborate decorations, and colorful homeowners. But because of the COVID-19 pandemic, this year looks a lot different. Gone are the skeletons, graveyards, and lights. We just want to be safe. So I figured, okay, here's what I'll do. I'm taking down all the creatures. I've taken posters of our uh, uh, costumes for the last however many that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven years worth. In their place, these posters of years past, but memories never forgotten. For the last few years, Terry and Susan Darby have enjoyed decorating their home with the scariest of decorations. But because of the number of kids that usually come, they decided to change their plans. You can't find a parking place anywhere on Tejon. Every parking spot is gone. And it's not kids just from our neighborhood. It's people from all over the city. As a neighborhood, they discussed we, we Halloween, and a lot of them around. decided to scale back and, due to the uh, pandemic. The Others chose to do something more unique at home. They had a Halloween pinata they're going to do for their three kids that they'll break in the house. You know, hopefully the dogs don't eat it all. <laughs> Terry says all the Halloween candy went to a local nonprofit organization. And while they don't have their spooky displays or special treats, the couple says next year will hopefully be bigger and better. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Mayo Davison, News 5.